A long time ago, close to the big forest and at the edge of the kingdom, a farmer and his wife lived in a small cozy house. They wished for a child more than anything. They thought eating a magic plant called Rapunzel would help them to have a child. Luckily, near to their home in the forest there was a garden with a special magical plant. A witch, who was very mean, took care of this spooky garden. The wife really wanted the Rapunzel. So, one night, she asked her husband to get some for them. He went out to the garden as he reached out to pluck the Rapunzel. A voice thundered, What do you think you're doing? It was the Enchantress, her eyes blazing with fury. The husband was scared, but he told the witch about how much his wife wanted the plant. The witch smiled a sneaky smile and said, Okay, you can have as much Rapunzel as you want, but you have to give me your first baby. The husband thought she was joking and said yes. But when their little girl was born, the witch came to take her. She called the baby Rapunzel and took her away. Rapunzel grew into a beautiful young lady with hair as shiny as the sun. The witch was worried that Rapunzel's beauty might draw in visitors, so she locked her in a high tower that had no doors, just a window. Every day the witch would come and say, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair and then Rapunzel would let her long braids fall down for the witch to climb up. One day, a prince was riding his horse in the forest when he heard Rapunzel singing beautifully. He was spellbound by her voice. He hid and saw how the witch climbed up into the tower on Rapunzel's hair. The next day, after the witch left, he went to the tower and said, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel was shocked to see a young handsome prince climbing up to her instead of the witch. The prince and Rapunzel started to like each other a lot. He said he would come back and help her get out, but they couldn't keep their meetings a secret. The witch got really mad, chopped off Rapunzel's hair, and sent her away to a lonely place. When the prince came to the tower to take Rapunzel away, he found the witch instead of his beloved. The witch, in her anger, tricked him, and as he tried to escape, he fell from the tower. He landed in a bush which had sharp thorns, and those thorns hurt his eyes. Sadly, this made him blind. Even though he couldn't see, the prince wandered through forests and over mountains, calling for Rapunzel, hoping to find her again. While the prince was looking for her, Rapunzel was far away in a lonely place. She had two babies, twins, and she missed her prince every day. Then one day, as if by magic, the prince heard a voice he knew well. It was Rapunzel singing. He followed the sound and found her. Rapunzel was so happy to see him that she cried, and her tears fell on the prince's eyes. Something wonderful happened when her tears touched his eyes. He could see again. The story has a happy ending. The prince took Rapunzel and their twin babies to his kingdom. Everyone there was so happy to see them. Rapunzel and the prince had been through so much, but now they were together. They started a new life, full of love and joy. Thank you for spending this time with Dreamline Storytime. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. Until we meet again, keep dreaming and stay cozy. Goodbye.